Hi, today's lecture is about Phi2, a small LLM released by Microsoft Research. What we will do is that we will go into what is Phi2, what are the limitations of Phi2, how was it built, and then we will go through a very simple example, and then we will go through a RAG example, that is a retrieval augmented generation example with a vector database, that is Quadrant. So let's jump in what is Phi2. Phi2 is a transformer with 2.7 billion parameters. Just to understand of how small it is, we have Llama2, which is released by Meta. You have a 7 billion parameter model size, a 13 billion model size, and a 70 billion model size. So these are quite large models compared to Phi2, which is only 2.7 billion parameters. So let's jump in and see what are the limitations of Phi2. So the limitations are that it can generate inaccurate code and facts. It is trained on Python code only. It can provide unreliable responses to instruction. It is primarily designed to understand standard English. It may have societal biases, it may have toxicity, it will have, it has a verbosity, which we will see in our examples. So it is meant for research purposes and needs to be fine-tuned for actual use. Now, the training, it is a transfer-based model. It has a context length of 2048 tokens and it was trained for 14 days on 97 cross 880G GPUs. The software used is PyTorch, DeepSpeed, and Flash Attention. So without much, much further ado, let's jump in and see an example, and for which I have used the Kaggle uh, platform. And here in the Kaggle platform, here what we have done is that I don't know whether you can see it or not. I have used, oh, here it is. I have used uh, two cross GPU defaults. And it is a simple example that we will see here. First, let us look at the simple example. So first, we install ENI Ops and Accelerate. Then we import the Torch and the Pipeline. And then we import Torch auto model for causal LM auto tokenizer and here we ensure that it is being executed on CUDA and then we here we are mentioning the Phi2 model and the tokenizer is here. Now what we do is that um, we uh, get the user input and then we create the prompt with this in this way instruct user input and the output and now uh, what we are doing is that um, we are passing in the model inputs here and then we are getting the result so the user input here in this case is who won the last soccer world cup so it seems that it is getting an answer that the last soccer world cup was won by france in 2018 so 2020 it there was a world cup after 2018 so it's not catching that but it is giving you till 2018 which is correct and then there is an end of text and then there is a lot of information which is coming in verbosity so that is one of the problems of here but if you take it till the end of text I think the answer is correct because the training I think was not done till the last World Cup and so you get till 2018 the answer is correct. Then is another another question we write a detailed analogy between mathematics and lighthouse it gives a fairly good answer here uh, and then what it does is that then it is verbose here you can see the answer is quite good. So that's about it for the simple rag. Now what we do is, is, um, is that 
Actually, this is not a rag. It is just a simple, simple thing. Simple without the rag. Now, actually, the rag here, what we are doing is that we are, we are using Quadrant as a vector database. And I would encourage you to look at the Quadrant videos in this series so as to get an um, idea of how we insert data into the Quadrant. So what we have done here is that we are pip installing these packages and um, the Quadrant client also. And here what we are doing is that we have the Quadrant server. The dimension of the collection is 384 and the model name is uh, this all mini LM L6V2. Now what we are doing is that this we have already put some of the chapters of the NCRT meaning the class 11 Indian Standard Biology Book Chapter 4 into this collection, the search engine. And it is all about the animal kingdom. So here what we are doing is that we are asking user input as described platyelminthus. And then what we are doing is that uh, we are getting the quadrant client here. We get the client here and then we are loading the model and then we are encoding the input so that it gets transformed into a vector of 384 dimensions. So you can see it is a tensor of 384 dimensions here. And then we do a search on the quadrant, a vector similarity search and the similarity search here with this metric that is uh, the, uh, the cosine metrics that we are using. And we get the result and we get the search result. And we convert the search result into a string. And how many results we are taking? We are limiting it to five results here. And we are getting this. And after what we are getting is that we again pass this context to, to the um, Microsoft Phi 2 model. And then you see the output that is coming. Now we have the prompt here. And we restrict the prompt that please provide the answer in not more than 100 words. And we get the output here. The same code is here. The max length is 1000. We get the output here. And here the output. Uh, it is a fairly decent one till this point. But then it gives out some unnecessary things here. So that is a problem here. But otherwise, if you see this answer from this sentence the platyhill minthus what is uh, platyhill minthus it gives a decent answer but then it gives all these other answers and then there is a verbosity involved here so overall i think this is good but it's not that good as compared to gpt which is obviously the case which they have mentioned so this wraps our lecture on microsoft phi 2 i'll be sharing the code on on github so please feel free to look at this code which I have used here and experiment a lot. Thank you. Bye.